Welcome to the Block 20 report coverage of the Blockchain Global Expo. I'm your host, Crypto, and I'm here with Bob Yelland, who is the European Blockchain Marketing Manager of IBM and who's rep representing IBM here at the Expo. Okay, good morning. Good morning. How's been the Expo for you so far? It has been absolutely manic. So, uh, so yesterday, literally from probably 8 a.m. in the morning till 6 p.m. at night, we were talking to clients. Uh, we had queues of clients. Uh, I would finish with one, I'd be dragged to the next. Uh, and by the end of the day, I'd, I'd literally lost my voice. I had to crawl home last night. So a so really manic day. Uh, everybody from large enterprises through to startups, uh, developers, you name it, they, they were here. So a so really, really good day. And we just, they, they were probably eight of us on the stand, there was no time to, to stop and stop and talk to each other. To be fair, that sounds like a good day, exactly. a very productive day. <laughs> and uh, IBM is of course a very deeply involved with the Hyperledger project. Can you just give the viewers an outline of what the Hyperledger project is and how IBM is involved? Sure, yes. Yeah. So, um, so Hyperledger is actually a, it's a project owned by the Linux Foundation. So, uh, so it's, a, it's an open source, open government governed blockchain framework, but designed specifically for business. So what that means is it's a permissioned blockchain network. So you as the, 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 the blockchain owner, you decide who has the nodes, who is authorized to see what, who is authorized to transact. So we're primarily working with large companies who want to share information to, to know the status of transactions in real time, but keep the information within a closed framework. And so Hyperledger contains a number of projects, all of which uh, 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 address different aspects of, of business transactions. Perfect. And um, IBM, not surprisingly, was one of the first ones to really big, one of the really big institutions to get really deeply involved with blockchain. And uh, who approached IBM? How did you find out about it? And what was the initial spark for you to get involved with all of that? So um, it's, it, there were a few colleagues um, in, at the worldwide team, and also here in the UK, and IBM and Hursley, who they'd heard they'd heard about Bitcoin. Uh, they were very interested in the underlying framework and how that could be applied to business. Uh, they began to talk to a, a, a few companies who were beginning to develop blockchain frameworks, and they realised very early on that this needed to be owned not by one company, but to be owned by by the Linux Foundation because that was the only way that open standards would be established. And so very early on they took the decision to approach the Linux Foundation and said, look, we would like to work with you on this because then we can be sure that whatever's being developed uh, can be extended and enhanced by other people and, and, it, and not owned or, or be dominated by, by one player. So it began about five years ago. Um, we've been working with the Hyperledger Foundation now, I, I would say for about, about four years. And literally 12 months ago, the, the, the first projects went live. Amazing. What were the main benefits that you saw working with blockchain and so on? Is there any particular things that attracted you to it? Yeah, very simply is that the, the world has changed. So, so 10 years ago, 20 years ago, companies were using IT to manage their own internal processes. So IT was very much centered around, around one, one single company. But these days, what you find is that companies operate in networks. So they have suppliers, they have clients, they have financing companies, insurance companies, uh, and they're all working together. And the success of one company is dependent upon the success of all the companies. I mean, supply chain is a really good example of that, which is if your product doesn't arrive on time and to the right level of quality, then your clients are, are dissatisfied. And so we realize that the world had changed from IT being centric to one company to, to, to needing to support an entire industry. And that's what blockchain does. It's the first technology that really allows true collaboration in real time between multiple companies. And, and, and that's, that's the world we live in. So we, we've been working on now over 400 blockchain projects with clients across every single industry, public sector, retail, logistics, government, you, know, you name it, banking obviously where it began. But we've, we have not found an industry yet where they're, 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 they're not interested in looking at blockchain technology. And, and even yesterday, I was still hearing from clients about new use cases that they were investigating. So this is a technology that's, that's struck a real nerve with the business community. Well, it sounds like you're going to be really busy for the next couple of years then. I, I think so. <laughs> Good. And uh, how is IBM already uh, like leveraging the power of the blockchain and 
in the everyday business. Yeah, so so we also use it internally. So uh, so it's not it's not just for our clients, but we have a, a large part of IBM is IBM Global Financing. Uh, we offer loans uh, and financing to many of our business partners around the world who are using it to to then build their own IT solutions or to to, to sell I, I, IT equipment. And like in any business, when you're working with multiple partners, partners, there's always disputes. Disputes about what money has been given, what the, what the money has been spent on, uh, when the money is due to be repaid. And we are using blockchain amongst our business partners so that we've all got clarity as to where the money is. And that has freed up for us many tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars that before was in dispute because we weren't quite sure where the money was. And by freeing that money up, it allows us to work with more partners because we've got more money to spend. So we're using it internally um, and we found it to be very successful. Many of our clients, uh, Maersk is a very good example in logistics, believe they might save 10 to 20% of their costs just by using blockchain because of the paperwork and the bureaucracy it, it decreases. So this is a, a technology that, that is making true business value savings from day one. Amazing. <laughs> Seems like you like it already, so that's good. We're, we're very enthusiastic about it, we really are. <laughs> good. And um, there is a blockchain mobile phone being launched by Serin Labs. Uh, could we ever see IBM releasing a computer that's likewise, or any other gadgets uh, specifically designed for interacting with apps, blockchains, or cryptocurrencies? So we, we, we've almost already seen it. So, so we have dedicated servers today that are running blockchain nodes. They are, they are our mainframes, they're sitting in the cloud. They are the most cryptographically secure platforms you could ever want. They have dedicated partitions uh, for blockchain so that you know that your ledger is 100% safe in the IBM cloud. So we, we already have that today. But we're also seeing developments of uh, very tiny little computers that sometimes are almost the size of a salt crystal, just, just been announced by IBM that will have the ability to be their own little blockchain ledgers as well. So we will see it to be inbuilt into things like Internet of Things sensors. So you can now have a sensor that is not only recording temperature or movement, but immediately adding it to a, to a blockchain. So we are seeing the, the, the development of very specific little blockchain machines. Amazing, that's, <laughs> wow. And um, is there anything else that you would want to let the viewers know, anything about IBM that you haven't said yet, anything that you want to promote? Uh, not promote, but I, I, th I think it's, it's very clear that creating a blockchain solution is not just about creating the blockchain. So, and, and this is really where the, the, the value that IBM provides. So with the blockchain, you've also got to integrate it with your legacy systems because all companies have existing systems and it has to, 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 to interact with that. And also you need a, a good front end because no person is going to directly access a blockchain. So you need good mobile user front ends. And you also need to think about business re-engineering, which is now with a blockchain, what does that allow us to do in, to, to redesign the business process between multiple companies? And so IBM pulls all of that together. We have the consultancy to help with business re-engineering. We can help the integration with legacy systems. We can host the blockchain. And there are very few companies that will do the whole lot. A lot of companies will do bits of that piece, but there were very, very few that will do the end-to-end the end -end solution. Amazing, thank you very much. All right, good to meet you. <laughs> thank you for taking the time to be here as well, Bob. Thank you very much. No problem. This was host Crypto for Decentro Media at the Blockchain Global Expo. Thank you very much.